One night I dreamt I was a dog. The moon was out, I could smell it. Ice white metal smell. I could smell the paving stones. Wet. Sharp. The tarmac road made my dog teeth tingle. It was aniseed. Rubber. And then the lampposts. Studded with smells they were. Studded with jewels of wood. Metal. Meat. And the stars pierced my dog nose like silver wires. A woman came out of her house. City, the smell of her. Rotten. She smelt of armpits and babies. Fish. And a hundred other things screaming at me like a brass band. I knew what she'd had for her tea. I knew she was pregnant, I could smell it. She didn't look at me, just walked, straight on by. Thought I was just a dog. I laughed, a quiet dog laugh. You think I'm a dog? I'm Billy, I'm me! <sighs> the night smelled of soot and frost and petrol and beer. I'm at my own door now, I don't need to see it. It comes to meet me, a cacophony. The smells are dancing towards me. The smells of home. I'm inside the house now. Hot, citrus smell of electric light. My wife, my daughters, stand up. As I come into the room, oh home, the smells I love all the tiny, shimmering background smells, and the two I love the most. The two smells that fill the room like a siren. One of them is fear, burning tires, vinegar, piss. And the other one is the smell of blood matted in Mary's hair. I gave her a good kicking before I went out. <laughs> Washing day. Steam. Wet sheets hanging. Cold. Slapping against my face. I'm hiding. Suddenly someone's here. Big white arms. Big bony hands that do things I don't like. Punch me. All the stuff. What? What other stuff? She's big. Huge veins in her white legs like blue knotted robes. Rotten cheese. Ugly. I hate looking at them. Muscles at the back of the knees. Bulging yellow skin on the heels. Clatter of what? Clocks on a hard floor. Noise that splits my head in two. Hot, metally taste in my mouth. Crack! Ah! Goes the bone of my head! Stars float. I'm laughing. Hit me again if you want, I won't cry. I never cry, me. Crack! I slip in the way. Crack! Go, there's another bone. Elbow, maybe. The side of my head burns. Out of my mouth comes a noise like kittens make when you drown them. <laughs> but no. I'm laughing, that's what I'm doing. I don't care, me, if you cut off my arms and legs, if you whip me with a belt till my skin peels off, I won't cry. I just laugh, right? But when I get bigger, I'll bloody kill you. I'm in bed. It's pitch dark. I'm holding my knees up against my chest. Icy. Icy cold. You can't sleep for it, not even with your coat on and your boots. The shouting along the landing. Banging. Same as every night. 
Dad's drunk. She's screaming at him. You bastard! You useless bloody bastard! You're no bloody good to me! And he's roaring like a bull in an abattoir. No words. Too drunk for that. Under the covers now, me. Stop it. Stop it. But I can hear them. I know them. I've seen them biting and tearing and heads banged off walls. Teeth fly, blood spurts. You stupid drunk pig. The staggering. Three steps this way, three steps that, one, two, three, one, two, three, wood splinters. You stupid, drunk, blind, fuck pig. I hear them fall, feel his bones, his blind head hits each stair, sinews tear and snap. She says, get out! You know, good to anyone. I'm out of bed now, running downstairs, the front door's open. She's trying to throw him into the street, but she's holding him round the throat and she screams like this. Ah! Like a banshee. I don't want my mother to make noises like that, so I kick her. I don't know why, but I do. He's on his hands and knees in the street. There's frost on the ground, glittering. He gets up and he falls over because he's drunk and he's blind. And his hands are stretched out. He wants someone to help him. Sounds come from him, the snot and tears. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, he says. Bitch. Stupid blind bastard, stop it, stop crying. Dad, you mustn't ever cry. I don't like looking at you when you do that. I don't like hearing you. I'm glad when she slams the door. She punches my head. Bang! What are you doing? Oh, it's cold upstairs, Mum. It's pitch black. No, it's like being blind. I don't want to go blind like me, Dad. I don't want to go blind. She pulls me by my arm, twists with both hands like she's wringing out washing. Don't be so bloody soft. Don't be so bloody soft. out there in the dark banging into things. I don't like to think about it, so I don't. Your sister told us he did. She told us he slept with you both. Uh, uh. Gather your thoughts. Say nothing. Take your time. There's still time. Laugh at it. Go on. Laugh. She's a bloody liar, that Janet. Tell him she's mental. I, I, I have a dry mouth. He did. Didn't he? Since you were 13 years old. Yes. You bloody bitch. You've done it now. You said the thing that should never be said. Can I get you a drink of water? Snatch the yes back, take it back, go on, shout no. No, I didn't mean that. I, uh, you open your mouth, go on, speak. Well, I'll fetch you some water. I... Just shout no, you stupid bitch. I, I'm very sorry. The trick you, Susan. I'm not dead. I'm not dead at all, and soon I'll burst through the window and kill you. Water streaming down her legs. Her eyes streaming, the dam is breached. The walls have collapsed. Get up off the floor, you stupid bitch. Get up off the floor! In the night, he comes to accuse me. Of what? Betrayal. He says you let them kill me and now I'll have to kill you. He can't harm you anymore. You don't get it, do you, love? Tell me, if you can. I love you, he said, practically straight away. I was 20. I 
knew nothing. He was lonely. And now he'll never leave. It'll never be over, it will never end. Every time I look in the mirror, he's there. Scars. That was the time he did this to me, or that. Here's where he broke my fingers, my wrist, my nose. He's dead. But the dead don't go anywhere. They dance in your head. They come to you at night. The dead don't die. I know that now. Did you love him? Of course we loved him. He was our father. six with teeth and a black, black heart. And what? Eight. She has a new man now. A soft, milky thing. No match for me lost blind dad. He winds wool for her with his limp fish hands. A voice like gruel. Boneless he is. And yet, and yet, Feet like blocks of ice, heart bumping against my throat, voices burbling in the blackness. Is anybody there? Is anybody there? They got a drowned man once. He spoke with weeds tangled in his throat. I heard him. He opens his mouth and it's not his voice come out, it's dead people. Not frightened me. Not frightened. I'm just cold. That's what that banging noise is in my chest. Dry tongue. Stupid bastards don't know I'm here. Stupid bastards! There's someone coming through, he says. There's someone coming through. It's a man. Stupid bastards, I don't believe them. I wish someone would put the light on. The skin's going tight on the top of my head. I think I'm having a heart attack. Mom! Billy! Is that you? Let me stay. I want to stay, I won't make no noise. I told you, bloody bugger. I told you. She's following me, dragging me upstairs. I'm fighting back. Bloody get off me! Bloody get off! No, no, don't shut me up in the dark. It's black in there. The, the black gets in my nose and mouth and eyes. I can't breathe. She says, get in the cupboard. You'll have no light. You don't deserve it. Bloody fucking bastard, I shout. Bloody damn fucking crack. She hits my head. Crack. Keep your fury, Billy, she says. You'll need it out there. But never cry or I'll send the devil to you. No, no. I won't cry. Don't send him. I don't want to see him. Don't shut the door. What if he comes, man? What if he comes? But she slams the door anyway. I won't cry. I shout. I bloody won't. Bastard. Bloody damn blood. Shit, bastard. I don't send him. I don't want to see the devil. Bloody fucking big devil. I bloody am I bloody am I Bloody hell, I'm not frightened, you fuckers. <laughs> you big buggers. <laughs> Our town is full of soldiers. There's a war on. I like the shine on the boots. 
I like the sound they make on the cobbles. Harsh and strong. It sets my teeth tingling. They are polished and trim and neat, these men. Belted and tucked and ready for action. Already I'm hooked. I follow them to the barracks. Oh, the neatness of it. The rows of bunks. The order. I'm beside myself with longing. Each bed tight made. Corners neat and parceled. No gaps. No mistakes. There's method in this. The air smells of carbolic and boot polish and engine grease. One of them, he shows me his kit. His boots gleaming under his bunk, placed just so, at just such an angle. The precision of it makes me feel faint and then a quivery ripple shivers across my groin. I am at home here. I am in paradise here. They take me to show me the storerooms. Miles of shelving, stacked to the roof with supplies. I say the word under my breath. Supply. In case of, in the event of, supplies. This is organization. Nothing can go wrong here. Everything, every last thing is labeled. Everything in its place. The soldier, he talks to me in his strange accent, London or Scotland or somewhere. He says, uh, you have to be organised, see, because if anything's out of place, if ever there's an emergency, think of the chaos then. He shows me the order books, the requisition pads, the cancellation forms, goods in, goods out, pink for in, green for out, and things are dancing inside my head. I'm practically singing. He lets me hold his gun. I imagine shooting all the people in our street. Put! 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 I shoot them because they shouldn't be in here, messing things up, throwing the system into disarray. I imagine the look on their faces. Stupid. Caught by surprise. Pop! Astonishment. Pain. Fear. Twisted mouths. Some of them even cry. I'm laughing. Shivers run up and down my spine. My feet are going like Fred Astaire. I feel the most pleasure I've ever felt. I think, oh, they're there. Think of the chaos then. She what it feels like. The soldier takes the gun. There's no bullets in it anyway. Torts. Primping and powdering and giving you the eye. Wouldn't mind if they meant it. But no, half the time they'd hardly give you a feel. Not that I want one. Not that I want one. Other the fish to fry me. They don't know, see? They can't see the rays coming off me. No idea, any of them. I'd wipe the smiles off the faces. I'd knock the bloody blocks off. I'd have them on the knees, begging they'd be. I'm tanked up, a bursting thing. I can feel the blood pounding in my head. I'm thinking now, when I get like this, I do things. Don't, I just do things. I'm thinking now I killed next door's cat to see how it felt. Better. I felt better for a while, seeing it squirm and cry. It was better than feeling up one of those toads. There's a look I like to see, fear it is. Face twists, mouth pleads, I fizz and burn, my insides leap. Then after, nothing. Dead 
days worth of you. Reminds me of something, I can't remember what. I'm just thinking this when I see it. Sitting quiet like a rabbit. None of the lipstick, none of the flash. She looks up at me. I know I'll marry her. This is the woman. This is the woman. This is the one. I see my life mapped out before me. I see her, I see children, I see a world in a flash it comes together. I am a pioneer. I'm in enemy territory. I'm gonna knock it into shape, impose a bit of order, call something out for myself. Nice sense of proportion. Me and them. Them and me. No one else. We don't need it. We don't want it. The house? Ship shape. It's all under control. Lay me hand on anything. Any time I want it. Blindfold. Mary? What is all this? the shelving. It took him three weeks. It's arranged alphabetically, do you see? Brown polish, fudgy food, bullets spare, bullets spent, curtain rings, dried peas and beans. I've got rules, I've got a system! Pulses are in a separate section under P. Emergency supplies, fire lighters. Well, you don't have any open fires. No, they were just in case. Uh, what? What I say goes. He liked to cover all eventualities. He made the rules. Glasses five inches from head of table. Each item to be no more than five inches apart and no less than two. What happened if you got it wrong? Sometimes a broken nose. Sometimes he just went into the shed and chopped up bones for soup. Spoons! You could never tell. So we tried never to make mistakes. Balls down when you drain them. Which is difficult. When the rules keep changing. That blue china cat. I like that cat. Three inches from fruit bowl. Not four, not two, but three. It's quite tiring, really. What I say goes. Garden implements, hand cream, knives, macaroni, pest poison, razor blades, rope. Susan and Janet did the labels. They have a very neat hand, haven't they? You can't take a breath without me. Don't even try. Did you ever ask the purpose of all this? Just spare items, just in case. Of what? Can't take any chances, can't take any risks. That's all he said. Didn't you ever ask? I think perhaps he was expecting a siege or a war. An explosion of some sort. I'm the one who has to go out there. He wanted to make sure we'd all survive, just the four of us. In the cold, in the dark. He made us do the football pools. You lot don't know you're born. He said if we won, he'd buy a desert island and we'd all go and live out there and never come back. It was his dream. It was our nightmare. 
We must have been the only family in England praying not to win. The girls are grown now. I've got them taped. I've got them tapped. Don't let them out of my sight. Dress them the same. Them and the mother. Three red jackets. So I can see them coming. My little army. My little crew. There's men on the streets. Men on the corners. I've seen them. I know what they want. Right, I say right. No talking to men. No talking to boys. Not now. Not ever. Do you hear me? Point me gun. That always gets them. Never argue with a gun. I taught them that. Oh, yes, Dad. No, Dad. Three bags full, Dad. But they're bloody lying, just like the mother. Saying one thing, mean another. Don't know why they bother. I know everything. I know you. You say one word. You flash one look. Oh, we don't, Dad. We don't. But they're taking the piss. He bought us both rings. Wedding rings. We went to the jewellers and chose them ourselves. Mine was patterned. Mine was plain. The jeweller was delighted. He said to Dad, Oh, a double wedding! And Dad said, Yes, a double wedding. In his special voice, his outside voice. Yes, they'll both be wives. And we put our rings on and left the shop. He said it was to keep us safe. To keep the men at bay. But when we got home... You talk to men, and this is what I'll do. Bang! 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 I fire at the wall and they jump and cower, so I do it again. I'm tingling and racing, there's holes in the wall. I fire at the feet and I can dance. Bang! 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 Oh, I'm laughing now. <laughs> And then she spoils it. She bloody spoils it. She starts to cry. I've told you. I've told you. No bloody tears in this house. No bloody tears. She keeps on. She keeps on. Oh, get it out of here. Get it out before the room explodes. I don't want to live. I want out. I want out. So, really, we did him a favour. Either he went or we all did. It was just a matter of time. I'm standing at the sink. This crack. There's a ripple in my head. A burning smell, my brain shattering into fragments, hundreds and thousands of coloured glass. I am dissolving. The room turns magenta pink.
smiling and patting my hand. And then I realised I'm not actually talking. I'm not even moving my mouth. God damn you, bastard! And this last word, like a roar, bursts from my lungs and smashes them in the face. Oh, they can hear me now, all right. Really? Let's get this place ship ship. I'm not out for the count yet. No, Billy, the doctor says you... Shut the bloody doctor, I hope he rots in hell. Bring me my gun. Crack a noise. Billy? Oh, where did it come from? <laughs> Is it outside or in my head? I said nothing, I don't let on. Billy, do you think you can hear me? Bring the gun. Let's have a party. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling on top of the world. Don't tell me to stop crying. Tell me to shut up, bloody face. Let's have a whiskey. Let's get this show on the road. Crack! Oh, someone's popping something inside my head. What's wrong with you lot? What are you gulping at? Calm down, Billy. You've had a fit. She says I've had a fit. But she's just saying it. What I think is... Some bastard spiked me drink. The fits got worse. He took him to hospital, and that was the happiest time of our lives. It was lovely. Waking up in the mornings, knowing he wasn't there, we could eat what we wanted. Read magazines. The bruises began to fade. That's when we knew. We got a taste of forbidden fruit. We understood what we didn't have. He was sunk from then on, really. When he first came back, he seemed different. Weak as a kitten. <coughs> Quiet as a lamb. We were walking on air. But it didn't last. That last weekend, it's like being in hell. And I don't need a whiskey! Everything's under control. More crackling in my head last night, I didn't say a word. Give him an inch, he'll take a mile. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. What I say goes. What I say goes! Somebody come up here! I'm on my own in the dark! Mary! Susan! Janet! Somebody come and do something! Oh, stop bloody crying, Janet! You lived a life of Riley, you don't want for nothing! Oh, any more tears and I'll break your neck! And I'm gonna go whiskey! Crap! Oh, sparks fly! Bright phosphorescence! My brain hisses and fizzes! Crap! Oh. I'm hurtling through black sky in a sea of pungent scent. I can smell the colours of my own mind. I can smell this television programme. I'm back to my dog self. Back to the dream. I, I, I smell metal and wood. I cordite. Janet's tears. Susan's breast. I, 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 I smell something blinding white and relentless. Smell things I can't control. Piss. My fists! Something between my teeth! I can't go on! Get the gun! Oh, burning tires! Spent diesel! An overtone of brass! Stinging nettles, cold sweat! I love that smell, so why don't I love it now? My body bucking! The room is right with it! My eyes stream with it! My fear is filling the room. Burn! Burn! Let it end here. Let it end with us. I don't want grandchildren. Let the blight end here.